We're working in Word 2019, Jasper Active, Lesson 6, Modifying Cells. This is a pretty short one. It only has one step. We're going to modify some table properties. The first thing we want to do is open the ABC Insurance Staff Properties file. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my instruction panel and just double click it open from there. All right, so it looks like I have the ABC Insurance staff list here. I've got a title, here's my column titles, and then I've got some information within my table here. Um, remember that tables are objects, so when that table is activated, you're going to have these hidden tabs that show up on the right, usually in a different color, and we'll be using those a lot. So the first thing I want to do, I want to make sure my cursor is in this first row, so it is, but if you need to click in there, you can. And then we're gonna go up to the Table Tools Layout tab. We're gonna find the Table Group, and we're gonna open the Properties function. When we click on this, it's gonna give us a dialog box, and it should have the Table um, tab open. We're going to click on the Alt Text tab. This one way over here. And we're going to add some alternative text to here so that it is going to be accessible for people who have disabilities, maybe vision issues, it can read it to them. So we're going to type in ABC Insurance Directory. I made sure to capitalize A, B, and C and each word. And then in our description field, we're going to type list of staff at downtown location. Now, one thing I notice is that in Jasper Active, it has the D in downtown capitalized. I'm going to go ahead and capitalize that in here as well, just in case that's something that it's looking for and then I can click on OK. And while nothing looks like it has changed outwardly behind the scenes, we have a description uh, for this table. So maybe if you have somebody who has speech set up, it will read that as the ABC, or list of staff at downtown location, ABC insurance directory. All right, we're gonna click the left border of the division column and drag it to the right approximately half an inch. So first of all, make sure your ruler is visible. You'll need that. If it's not, go up to the View tab in the Show group. Make sure that ruler box is checked. All right, so here's my division column. I'm looking for the left border, and I'm looking to get that one particular cursor. So it's two lines, and it's got an arrow to the left and an arrow to the right. This will allow you to grab it and move it. So once I have grabbed it, once when I start to move it, it's going to show me this line that goes all the way up here uh, to my ruler. So we're moving this half an inch to the right. So I have to first identify where this is starting. And it's a little bit to the right of the two and a half inch mark. So if I add half an inch from here, I'm aiming for this first dash after the three. All right, so I'm gonna click and hold and start dragging until this dashed line lines up with that first dash after the three, and then I can let go. And then it says to drag the left border of the local number column to the right by the same amount. So. Here's our local number column. Here's my left border. And when it says the same amount, it means like what we just did. So that's half an inch. So I'm gonna click and hold. Now this one's starting at a four. Um, so I'm gonna take it to the four and a half inch mark. There we go. And I can let go. Okay. <clears throat> Now we're gonna adjust the width of these first two columns. So right now, each of my columns has a different width. And we wanna make sure that these two are equal. So we're gonna select the cells 
for both the first name and the last name columns. So starting where it says first name, I'm just going to click and drag all the way down. So I'm selecting all of the cells in both of those columns. I'm going to go up to my Table Tools Layout tab. And in the cell size group, I'm going to find the Distribute Columns function. So it's one of these two. You hover, it will tell you what it is. If your screen is wider, it will probably have the words visible. When I find it, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And that's going to even out these two columns to be the same width. All right, now we're going to look at splitting a table. So we're going to go down here to the row that says Hope Misaka, and we're going to insert a new row above this one. So um, Jasper Active isn't telling us exactly how to do it, so we have the option to do it one of the ways that we know. So either we can hover right here, and we can click the plus sign and add one, or I could right click, and on my mini toolbar, I could go to Insert, and insert above. And there we go, it adds a new row right above that one. We're gonna merge these cells together. So make sure that they're all still selected. If they're deselected, just hover over here on the left and click, click right next to that and that will select that whole line. We're gonna to go to the Table Tools Layout tab. And in the Merge group, we're gonna click on Merge Cells. All right, when they're all in one cell, we're going to now type executive team, making sure you capitalize both executive and team. And then on the layout tab, under the table tools, oh, sorry, that was the table tools layout tab. So um, on that layout tab in the merge group, we're going to click the function that says split table. When we click that, it's going to make this into two separate tables for us. So this one will now be the executive team table. This will be the insurance staff list. And that's all we need to do for this one. We're just practicing splitting a table. If you wanted to remove that split, you can put your cursor here. Usually it works and hit the delete key. But we're going to keep that split. All right, go ahead and mark as answered and submit.